Hello, welcome to Luna Midnight Designs. For this Pride Month, I will be making another drag queen because I just love drag queens. I will be making Violet Chachi, who I have made in the past, back in 2017. I made her or her walk-in look for season seven. I did it poorly because I did not know how to do anything, like sew or anything. So let's give Violet Chachi another chance. This time I will be making her season 8 episode 1 outfits when she appeared with all the other winners in like that photo episode. I know another pink one, I did Shea Coulee in her big giant pink outfit and now this one's another pink outfit. But I just love this look, I mean she has so many amazing looks to choose from but as soon as I saw this one I'm like I have to make it. The only change I will be making is the makeup and I'll talk more about that later. So let's get started. For the outfit, I had to make my own pattern, so I guessed. And then I cut the pieces out of this pink silk or satin. I don't know really what this fabric is, I'm just guessing. And of course I fray check all of the edges and of course a little drop falls on one of the pieces. But I can put this piece in the back. No one will see or no. Shh, don't tell anyone. I then put the dress together, the shoulders, and then I cut the back in half because I messed up. Oops. I then put the sleeves on. I hem this, hem that. But before I close off the dress, I need to add the bead details, which I hand sew each bead to the dress. My hands were hurting, but the results were totally worth it. I also add the detail later to the sleeves. I then close off the dress and make sure it looks good and fits right on the doll. Next is the fringe detailing. I take this cord, I unravel it, then I make wefts and glue them to a piece of craft foam and attach it to the dress. And the dress is done. It's not exactly like the picture, but it's close enough. Now, as I mentioned before, I am changing the makeup from the original look. It's like this kind of bluish makeup in the original look, which I'm not really a fan of because it doesn't really match the rest of the outfit. I did have a few options, this more like orange and pink one, and then this like orange but uh, pink but blue one still. But I settled on this one. I start with the eyeshadow and then move on to blush more of the face and add the first layer of the white detailing.
and then once the one side is done, I copy and paste it to the other side. I continue to add details as well as more layers and building up the colors. I then draw the outline of the lips and then color them in. I also add a beauty mark because many of Violet's looks she has one. I also add more details to her eyes and then I add black to the eyeliner and the outline of the eyes. Off camera I give her thin eyebrows, just like the photo, but not pencil thin, they are a little thick. I then give her painted on lashes, but later I give her false lashes as well. Also, I know that in the beginning it was Draculaura, but halfway through she kind of changed to like Cleo Denial's head and a, a rafter high body. Just you can do whatever body you want. I just changed it midway. Sorry. I then paint her eyes brown. I think they're brown. I'm not sure. It's hard to tell in all the photos. And the face up is done. Well, after glossing the lips and eyes, of course. Then the face is done. Her hat is made from craft foam. I first cut out similar sized circles and then I glued them all together and then I cut out two bigger circles and then I put the smaller circles on the bigger circles. And then I wrap a bigger piece around it and glue that there and then I put a top on and voila! I then add more details like beads, ribbons, and feathers. The shoes are just basic Monster High shoes that I wrapped with ribbon and a string of beads. I left the heel red because, you know, red bottoms, yay! The hair is just yarn that I brush out, then straighten, then turn into wefts, and then glue on the head and curl. Closest I could get to the actual hairstyle in the original picture, I have no idea how she made those like waves kind of thing. I tried, but I could not figure it out. And here is the final doll, Violet Chachi. I know she has more iconic outfits, but a lot of them have already been made into doll form, so I wanted to do something different. And also when I first saw this look, I knew I had to recreate it. Now, I love drag race. Mostly for the fashion and the sewing challenges and like anything that has to do with clothing, really. I actually just rewatched most of the seasons. I did stop watching after season 12, but maybe I'll pick it up again to find more amazing drag queens with fierce style. I am so happy with how she turned out. Next June, I'll aim to make a drag queen that isn't wearing a pink outfit. <laughs> Sorry, I like the color pink. 
Anyway, follow me on Instagram to see more and to be more a part of my process, check out my community page for polls and doll ideas and sneak peeks of upcoming videos and subscribe to catch future videos. Thank you all for the love and support. Have a creative day. See you soon. Bye.